Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Nothing quite like it, the Monterey Peninsula. Oh, it uh, looks a whole lot better in that shot than uh, the way it, it did late in round number one. That flag stick up ahead at 18 was bending uh, in 40 mile per hour gusts. First round of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Rich Thurder alongside three-time PG Tour winner uh, Johnson Wagner. Uh, Jordan Spieth is unquestionably the star uh, amongst all. The stars, and I'm talking, you know, Bill Murray and Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen, uh, having won the tournament in 2017, top threes the last uh, two years. Se uh, 71 to open today over at Spyglass. How do you think he did? He didn't have his best stuff. I think finishing under par was big. Would have been nice to see him get a couple more, but he shot two under on the back nine, had a sloppy bogey, actually chipped in for bogey on 15, mm -hmm. which is one of the easiest par threes on tour. Hit it in the water, hit it over the green. I just thought it was vintage Spieth today. Turned a bad round into a good round with good wedge play and incredible putting, only 23 putts. You like him to win one of the big five this year, the, a major or, or the players, why or why not? I, I always like him to win a major. He's got, he may not be, you know, statistically or the yeah. prettiest player of all mm -hmm. time, but he's got guts. He's got heart. Mm. And, you know, flashing back to Burkdale when he won, the the just the 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 mental wherewithal when he's taken that drop from the driving range, he just he's composed under pressure. And it seems like the bigger the moment, the better he rises. Uh, think about Pebble Beach in this tournament through the years. Uh, the word that comes to mind is opportunity. You know, I'll go back, uh, Vaughn Taylor having won it when he was called in as an alternate. He was down uh, playing in Latin America and wasn't feeling well, was in a hotel room, got the, the nod. He flew in and won the tournament. Uh, Ted Potter Jr., the mini tour legend, knocked off, among others, it was Phil and Dustin Johnson. So it can happen, and Hank Lebiota, uh, is is in a good spot after that first round, eight under par. Uh, what's uh, his issue been, and how badly has Hank struggled in the last uh, couple of years? Well, he's he's playing off a 126 to 50 status. Yeah. He's never really had that top 70 on the money list, getting in all the invitational status. But he's missed his first five cuts of the year. He has such an opportunity. The 126 to 50 category reshuffles, and the next shuffles after Genesis. This is his last chance to really climb that ladder. If you're in the top five in that category, you're going to play 15 to 20 events this year, which is plenty of starts to get inside historically the 125. Now, being top 70, it's a little different story, but I mean, wonderful opportunity. He put himself at eight under par today, took advantage of the easy day, which we saw a lot of people not take advantage of the easy day. Uh, then there's uh, Kurt Kitayama. This is a name we're starting to see a little bit more. What, what, what do you know about Kurt? Well, I mean, I, I remember seeing him burst on at Honda last year, was down to the mm -hmm. wire toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shane Lowry and Sepp Straka. Sepp mm -hmm. ended on up winning. Yeah. I know he had another second at the Mexico Open, I believe, losing to John Rahm. Right. Had a second at the CJ Cup. Like, he has put him second at the Scottish Open as well. He's put himself in these positions to win big events. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Honda Classic is a big boy golf course there at PGA National. So watching Kurt get into conditions, no surprise anymore. Hits the ball plenty far has a good short game, good putter. You know, we had so many good rookies last year with Cam Young, Kitayama. Uh, you know, he was really in contention for that Rookie of the Year, and, and uh, you know, he he's looking to move up and maybe get his first win this season. Uh, this tournament's synonymous uh, with the celebrities and certainly uh, Bill Murray. Uh, think about this. He debuted at uh, Pebble Beach, 1992. He wore a hat that was shaped like the old Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. First tee at Spy before even teeing off, threw down a beer and a Polish dog, uh, playing play with Scott Simpson. And he's still at it, won it with uh, DA points. Uh, what do you think of the celebrity uh, part of all this? I love it. I, I think about Jack Lemmon all those years playing Great and Lim. always wanted to yeah. make the cut. It was his goal. I don't think he ever did unless it was the last year he played. But uh, I, I love it. it. You know, for me, going into player dining and I look over and Matt Ryan's over there, Aaron Rodgers is over here. Like, I, I'm a big sports fan. And for us golfers to be put in the same arena as those guys, and it's actually our arena, we, we feel pretty good about it. Uh, I've followed Murray. You know, we've done stories on him out there, and it's insane, at least in his heyday, when he went out there because of Caddyshack. I mean, you know, people just yelling stuff at him, you know, from, from the movie. 
Uh, what's it? It's in the hole? <laughs> no, it's not. It's it's in the Pacific. Uh, but they yell it. They yell it anyway. And I will say, when he did win in was it 2011 with D8 points, he received uh, something far better than any Oscar. Uh, he received total consciousness, <laughs> uh, didn't he? Uh, you know, I, I'll give you a good Bill Murray story. So the year that we were following with cameras, uh, he sprayed his tee shot at 17, the famous you know par three where Nicholas flagged the one iron, Watson chipped in. Horrible shot right up against that grandstand. You know it, but about 20, 30 yards short and right of the 17th green, and it's packed. Murray saunters over. He doesn't walk, he saunters. You've seen him, and... Somebody from the top of the grandstands looks down and said, hey, Bill, Kevin Costner made birdie here. And Murray didn't hesitate. He looked up and he said, Kevin Costner made water world. <laughs> Just like, and then with that, he proceeded to stone the pitch shot to about a foot. That's timing. And he's brilliant. And the interaction he has with yeah. the crowd the whole week. Now, I have heard you don't want to play in the group behind Bill Murray as a professional. That's true. It can be a little bit slow, but he does wonderful things for them. And the crowds come out to watch the golf, but they also come out in support of these celebrities played a couple of years ago with uh, an actor. And, and he had more support than anybody in our group. The three of us, it was a Sunday. And, you know, these people were out there to see them, and it's such an important part of it. The, the tournament does great work for charity and those celebrities. A couple of big-name quarterbacks are in the field this year. Josh Allen loves the game of golf. We know that. Uh, and then Aaron Rodgers, good stick. Both are good sticks. Josh Allen swing off the first tee at Spy was very impressive. He is skipping the Pro Bowl to play at Pebble Beach. Has that his, says He has his priorities in order. The, I think the greatest um, athlete from another sport to turn professional golfer would be a quarterback, and it's a Bay Area legend, the late, great John Brody, uh, who quarterbacked the 49ers uh, for, for a long time and won on the PGA Tour champions. Didn't know that. Yeah. And other guys have other guys have tried it. You know, I mean, I'm thinking about uh, uh, well, Rick Roden, uh, baseball player. Pitchers typically are, you know, Pretty good golfers, Smoltz, Glavin, Maddox, that whole rotation there for a Who, while. Who's the, the best, uh, the best uh, athlete from another sport that you played with? I'm sorry, best golfer. Two come to mind. I played a lot of golf with Justin Verlander uh, in the Richmond area. He's mm. from Richmond. My wife's from and Richmond. We played Kinlock maybe four or five that's times. Supposed to be a great track. It's a great Benny track. Benny Giles and spot. He smashes the ball. And also Derek Anderson uh, was a Pro Bowler for the Browns, but he was a backup quarterback yeah. at Carolina. See, pitchers have a built-in advantage, don't they? Well, for sure, they get they get four days off between <laughs> starts. So right, uh, those guys travel with their they, clubs. A lot of them do. Absolutely, yeah. and musicians too. A lot of these guys, these musicians that yeah. play golf, they're on the road traveling and they'll bring their clubs in their tour bus and go find the local country it, club. It, it's a way to keep their sanity. I, I remember um, Alice Cooper, you remember, legend in, in the, the 1970s, Alice Cooper, you know, had his demons, uh, battled booze, and he said golf helped get him sober and keep him sober all those years. Right. You go play golf, you then go to your show, and you're so excited to play golf the next day because these guys are playing the best courses in the towns they are. Golf's probably saved a lot of musicians' lives. Mm. All right. Now, here's the uh, schedule uh, on Golf Channel. Uh, we're with you on the pregame show Friday at 2.30 Eastern time. Then it is a live tournament coverage. And then we're back at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, Jordan will be over at uh, Monterey Peninsula, the shore course. Uh, probably needs a pretty good round. So much, though, you can see is weather dependent. He will be at Pebble. You see that flag stick, flag stick just about breaking. He'll be at Pebble with all of the celebrities on Saturday.